anything. There we go. Okay. All right. So awesome arms. So if you want to start with a little bit lighter weights, we're going to do rounds today. So we'll do two, two sets, maybe three, see so how time goes. The arms are going to be down by your sides. And again, shoulder blades back and in, connect the core, bend those knees. And again, if you want to sit down, you're fine. And then bring the elbows slightly forward. So the dumbbells are resting on your thighs. Again, notice how that shifts the upper back. All right, so from here, thumbs to your shoulders, and then slowly release back down. Thumbs to shoulders, these are hammer curls. So the goal here is minimal body sway. Again, if you need to, you can lean up against a wall. It will take that body sway out. And you're keeping those elbows in front the whole time. That's so we get the whole bicep, both heads. A little bit of work on that anterior deltoid as well. So again, you're up and then you're slower on the way down using that eccentric control. Again, minimize the body sway. We got two more. And then the arms are going to go down by your sides. Thumbs turn out. So it's slowly lifting up and then slower on the way down. So I want you to feel shoulder blades moving. We normally work on that first. So as you're doing those dumbbells up, you feel the shoulder blades turn, hold, and then everything comes down. So again, learning your body, how it's moving. Shoulders should be above the elbows. The wrist can be a little bit above the shoulders. Slight bend of the elbows is perfectly fine. And again, working this part right here. So up. Try to have them straight out to the side if you can. You go slightly in front as you come down. One more set. All right, then you're gonna hinge yourself forward. Strong spine, shoulder blades back, elbows back. Push the arms straight and then release. Push the arms straight, let gravity do its job. So again, you're controlling that speed of release. Back of the neck is long. Again, you're feeling the shoulder blades slide in for that scapular stability so that you can keep those elbows in space as we work the arms. We've got a couple more. And then shake it out. All right, so that is round one. So if you'd like to increase your weight for round two, you're welcome to. So starting off with the bicep curls again, this time palms are gonna be forward. Again, same setup, elbows slightly in forward of the shoulder line. Bring it up and then slowly on the way down. Bring it up. So again, slowly on the way down. This allows you to actually straighten the elbow without locking it and it protects the joint. Up and then slowly down. Relax your shoulders. And again, where are those elbows in space? Are they staying there? Open up the chest. Again, that's shoulder blades pulling back and in. Minimize body sway. We got two more. One and two and release. All right, so going out to the sides. I know I need to drop back down. You may stay where you are if you'd like. So thumbs are still out. So slowly out, pause, pause, and then slowly down. Slowly out, pause. So you're holding it longer. You're making the shoulder blades stabilize. You're making the shoulders stabilize. Hold, two holds, and then down. So up, hold, hold, and then down. Up, get the hair out of your mouth, get the hair out of your mouth, and down. And 
got three more. One, hold, hold, control your release. Two, hold, hold, control your release. Last one, hold, hold, control your release. All right, I'm switching back to the heavier weights. Hinging forward, abs are engaged, elbows point back. Straighten the arms, slowly release. Straighten the arms, slowly release. Where's your neck? What's it doing? How's that low back feeling? Again, core is engaged so you're supported. You need to drop one ton to a dumbbell, twenty ball, whatever they're called. Weight, not on your toes, but just put it down. Support your hand if you need to. Elbows stay in place. Again, feel that tricep work to hold the straight. All right, adding a two count hold at the straight, and then release. Just giving them that little extra hold, hold, and release. Hold, hold and release. Hold, 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 hold. One more. And release. Shake it out. All right, set number three. So do you want the heavier weight? Do you want the lighter weight? Do you want to go up again? That's up to you. Okay, so this time elbows are more into your side. They're going to be more directly down, but the palms are turned out. And then you're going to curl to the outside, hold, go halfway down, hold, and then all the way down. Again, think about the shoulder blades, all the way up, halfway down, all the way down. All the way up, halfway with control, all the way with control. So work on the outside head a little bit more. Nice. We got three more. Two. Make sure you're breathing, please. Last one. And release. All right, I'm going back to lighter weight. You choose. We're going to start with the elbows at 90 degrees this time. So you're going to lift those elbows up. You're going to straighten the arms out, palms are down, and then slowly release. So again, watch the neck here. This is the key shoulder blades back. Lift from the shoulder blades. Hold it from the shoulder blades. Release down. Bend the elbows. Lift. Out. Down. So if you're feeling this in your neck, focus more on the shoulder blades. Might need to drop weight. Again, watch your stance. Watch the low back. Make sure you're breathing. As long as you're breathing, I am really happy. All right, three more, three, out, slow, two, out, slow, last one here, and slow. All right, last time with the triceps, same position, kick back, watch the low back, any discomfort, you're bringing one hand down, and let me know, we will alternate sets. All right, so again, out and hold, and then slowly release. Out and hold, slowly release. Can you lift the elbows a little higher? Again, we progressed everything else with something else. When joints start popping, it's time to drop your weights. All right. Boom. 
and then slow. How is the neck? Drop the head, bubble head if you need to. Long spine, core is connected. Last one, shake it out. No, we're not done yet. All right, all the way down on the ground, we're gonna do T's. We're gonna get those shoulder blades to move a little bit more. I know they've been working. We're really gonna isolate them now. So all the way down on your abs. Nose is down, arms out to your sides. All right, so from here, head can be down if you need to. As you exhale, shoulder blades slide in and then lift up. And again, the key here is neck stays up a little bit. So you're pulling straight back. A lot of times the shoulders will go up, things straight back. Keep those arms straight out to each side. Tendency is to let them drop down towards your hips. That's a different muscle group. We really want rhomboids, mid traps. Couple more. And then release. And we're going to go ahead and roll over our last exercise here. Grab dumbbells, whichever ones you choose. We have a chest fly. So hands are over the shoulders, slight bend in those elbows. You're slowly going to open the arms out, lightly touch the back of the arms to the ground, and then exhale, pull back in. So stay long through your low back. Natural curve in the spine. Relax the shoulders, wherever you heard that, relax the neck. We got two more. And then we are done. Give yourself a hand. Yay! All right. Thank you for being here. See you next week. We'll do bands next week.